Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Para and today I wanted to continue on the conversation of emotional outlets. I am someone who really advocates for having an emotional outlet because I have one and one of mine is writing. Um, a lot of the time when I feel I'm emotionally or mentally challenged, one thing that I try to do is to put my feelings down so I might have um, a daily diary where I talk about all the different things that I've thought about today I felt today how it's impacted me some of the thoughts I've had and I try to evaluate where those thoughts are coming from and how I can swap out those thoughts for ones that um, I guess give me a more positive outlook on life or ones that will enable me to do better for myself you know not like self-restricting thoughts but more kind of positive ones something else that i do do is i like to write poetry so i mean i wouldn't say i'm <laughs> writing in iambic pentameters or anything like it's not it's not shakespeare but it's more like free verse just finding creative ways to articulate my feelings and today i want to share one of my poems with you i don't usually share my poems but um i feel moved to do so and it's called broken because it was written at a time when i did feel broken and i was waiting to find myself again and waiting for my pieces to come back together so i hope you like it there's nothing worse than misplaced trust and broken promises shattered beliefs leave you reeling for balance and gasping for air that air of solitude and comfort to take the pain away but it's said that time heals all wounds and so you wait and as you wait, you are numb to life, a shadow of your former self, re-evaluating and second-guessing every encounter, every conversation, every someone you think you know, hoping that somehow, some way, some day, you'll find yourself again. The you that exuded unquestionable confidence, the you that lit up a room so brightly, the you who could trust, love, and be loved. So you wait. And as you wait, you seek for solace in those friends that never fail to make you laugh, in hopes that you can hide behind the smothered gleam of sparkling eyes, tear-filled from laughter, or from that goal you put on hold but now seek to achieve that small element of regaining control, making something go your way, or from the euphoria only distilled ethanol and bright strobe nights, followed by a morning's gloom with Satan's marching band alive in chorus, parading in your skull and blurring your vision. Well, if the pain's in your head, at least it gives your heart a break. And so you wait, and wait and wait and pray to god your day will come and your wound will turn into a fading scar one to look back on and laugh as you tell the story of how you fell and got back up how you touched the flame and only got a shallow burn and so you wait so yeah so that was written um a while ago and i hoped you enjoyed hearing it as much as I enjoyed writing it because I felt as though when I was able to put that down on paper I felt free I felt like I had let go of my pain at the time and I could work towards moving forward truly time did heal my wounds but I also needed to put that effort um, and that love back into myself um, just to work and get it back to who I am and fulfilled that potential that I had within me. Uh, so I hope 
I hope it helped someone, whoever needed to hear that, hear me girl, hear me guy. <laughs> um, and take care of yourselves. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can get notifications when I have a new post. Talk to you soon, bye.